Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? I just want to talk about the Spyderco Stretch 2 for a minute here. Um, I think everybody has a, I call it like a pajama knife. A knife that you just, when you're bumming around the house, maybe your pajamas don't even have any pockets on them. Uh, sometimes mine do, sometimes I don't. I just imagine a lot of people are like that. Uh, but a lot of us knife nuts keep a knife on us all the time. And for me, a lot of the time it involves clipping it to the waistband of my pants, right? This is the perfect knife for that. If you wasn't super picky and wasn't a connoisseur like I am, and maybe if you are a connoisseur, maybe if you're just not a titanium snob, let's say that, uh, this would be the perfect knife. Uh, the story on this was Sal Glesser actually designed his perfect EDC knife. And this was one of the renditions of that. I believe the uh, military was, you know, kind of his idea of the perfect knife for maybe somebody in the military not being hard to use, but just being what they might need to uh, slice open bags of MREs and all that different stuff. Uh, this right here was designed as the perfect EDC, or at least as I understood uh, the posting that Sal posted many years ago on Blade Forms. And maybe that's changed by now. This was maybe five years ago or so. Anyways, this one's extra special. Sal himself actually sent this to me, and I still appreciate that. This is the ZDP FRN version. And uh, you guys have seen it in a few videos. They did, uh, when they first come out, they did it in this nice powder blue FRN here and then they switch it up to the dark green which is what most of their Seki City ZDP blades are uh, but I, I do like this powder blue version the best even though I love green um, I also swapped the clip out so if you can find these they don't come with this chrome clip here also a video test on the new iPhone camera here I will be using my real camera for most videos. This is kind of like a little impromptu. About to lay down, walk around my PJs and said, Hey, I bet a lot of people forgot about this knife that I love. Full flat grind, ZDP blade, uh, has this nice drop point blade. I have to admit that it does look a little funky. It is a little out of the box. And uh, it, it does kind of grow on you. And when you use it, it is a great blade shape to actually use. It's got this 50-50 choil here. You can put your finger up here. And when you do, your thumb just kind of naturally wants to come up here like this. And you can use this portion of the blade with a whole lot of control and a whole lot of leverage. And again, when I cut a lot of my cardboard, it's usually my thumb in the choil area here my hand wrapped around here and it just fits so nice in the ZDP your finger slides up here on the thumb ramp and the ZDP holds an awesome edge and it gets crazy sharp the ZDP is an awesome steel it's too bad it's really only found on Japanese made knives it's kind of an exclusive steel like their VG10 Lockback design, again, what you would expect, your fit and finish here, Delica and all that. You're not really buying this knife as a collector piece, as something that you're just going to sit there and stare at like a piece of artwork. You know, this is a strictly, for me personally, I see this knife as a strict user and uh, something that's really dependable. Back lock, of course, is as strong as this thin more slicing based knife would need to be you're not prying with this you're not batoning with this this is strictly a user again sales idea of the perfect EDC or at least a few years ago I find that the whole geometry really really works really well and what I mean by that is in relationship to the pivot uh, sometimes spider coes you know and even thumb stud knives they kind of come down here and come really close this is like kind of kicked out and more up versus the pivot 
So it really only needs a little slight push. It's hard to describe. I should have put a few extra knives out here to, to show you what I mean. Like this one, really easy. Can't quite get the underhand flick. Definitely a thumb flicker though. Very fast. Again, inherent with most lockback designs, you're going to get a little bit of up and down flex. I hesitate to even call it play, but if you really go looking for it, there's a slight bit of movement, and that's kind of in the design. And again, because it's FRN, it does have nested liners in there that are drilled out. There is a little bit of flex side to side. So again, this is not something that's like collector based. This is more along the user. And uh, I do think it runs right around $100 for the ZDP version. Which all in all, Spyderco's Heat Treat ZDP, <laughs> ZDP Full Flat Grind. Um, what more can I say? It, it's a gorgeous knife, a, a really nice size. Fits a full four finger grip. Your thumb falls right in the ramp there. It's a nice, nice knife to use. Sadly, I just don't find myself carrying it when I go out. I'll take a Strider SNG, or I'll take a Sebenza, or I'll take the Grayman. It's usually something with titanium, you know, and I can't apologize for that. I'm a knife nut. I love my titanium, but um, this is a very capable knife. I would be very confident in handing this to almost anybody and saying this could accomplish all your EDC tasks and do it beautifully. Especially if you do a lot of cutting and slicing, which is what knives are designed for, technically, right? To cut things. And this does that really well. Um, sadly, my uses when I'm on my job require some prying sometimes. So I'm in the wine business. Sometimes I gotta pry open crates of wine. Should I have a pry bar in the truck? Probably. Does my Strider SNG pry up those wine crates? It does it beautifully. So it's one of those things, you know. Right tool for the right job. Yeah, I hear you. But then again, it's a lot easier to grab my knife out of my pocket and just use it. There's no knock on this particular knife or any of these flat ground, you know, distilled taper blades. Um, work great for around the house for me. I'm sure it would work okay uh, out in my EDC, but I'm just so addicted to those tougher overbuilt knives. So anyways, no reflection on this knife. I just don't carry it out like I should. But I love it when I'm just bumming around the house. It is very light. The FRN is extremely comfortable. They do make this. I believe they still make it in a peel ply carbon fiber with the ZDP. And uh, that's just a little bit heavier. Um, I found that I actually like the ZDP version better. Again, because it, it's lighter. And it's more contoured around these corners here. So again, if you're taking a knife just strictly for using, you know, it's kind of nice that it molds right into your hand like that. Nothing wrong with the carbon fiber one. I just honestly like the FRN version a little bit better. Again, it tucks beautifully inside the waistband of your pants or clip to your pocket. That is the Spyderco Stretch 2 with lots of use on it. I didn't clean it up. Again, this is an impromptu video. Uh, kind of a camera test too, to see how well my impromptu videos will be. And it's looking like not too well. There goes the focus, so you can see all the dirt and grime in here. Probably need to scrub that up with a toothbrush. Let me know what you think. Kind of an old design. It's been out for, I don't know, five, six years. They make it in VG10 too. So. Some people like the VG10 more than the ZDP. Takes a, a slightly keener edge, the VG10 does versus the ZDP. 
um, and also it's a little bit softer so it's a little easier to sharpen than the ZDP you know VG10 is a great everyday steel it really is I prefer ZDP over it you know but that's just me I have diamond stones and stuff to sharpen um, anyway ZDPs you probably already know if you're watching this just gonna hold a little bit better edge and that's it I think it's worth a little bit of extra cost than it is maybe an extra 25 bucks or so anyway spider coast stretch 2 let me know what you think how does the camera do does it look a little bit better than my other impromptu video maybe you guys can't see a difference anyways when I show off my work it'll still be on the Canon don't worry have a good day guys see ya